Apex Hangers There are several methods for hanging pipe from ceiling surfaces that vary based on the construction type being used. Here are some examples of typical methods used with PEX tubing. Note, Vega recommends the use of plastic or plastic-coated tubing supports. Metal supports are not recommended unless the tubing is insulated or within support trays, as shown here. Otherwise, they may damage the tubing. Trapeze hangers Trapeze hangers are typically used for multiple runs of tubing going to a similar location. These are attached to the ceiling by threaded rods using female threaded anchor in wood or cement, or beam clamps for I-beam type construction. A variety of clamps are designed for use with PEX tubing that are compatible with Unistrut supports. Clevis Teardrop Hangers Clevis and or teardrop hangers are commonly used to support individual runs of piping. These are attached to the ceiling or support beam by a threaded rod with a female anchor or beam clamp, respectively. Hangers should have a rubber or foam lining when used with PEX tubing. No lining is necessary for PEX protected with jacketed insulation. PEX support trays PEX support trays are for use with clevis hangers and or coated ring clamps to help reduce the number of support hangers that are required for hanging PEX tubing. These trays are available in 10-foot lengths for 1/2 inch through 2 inch PEX tubing sizes. Installing PEX support trays Install hangers at recommended spacing per the table which follows. Install PEX tubing. Slide the support trays under the tubing and into the hangers. Snap the tubing into the support trays. Trays should be strapped to the tubing using Vega zip ties or equivalent every 48 inches, two straps for trays less than 48 inches in length for clevis and or teardrop hangers, and only once between clamp type hangers. Note, when using tin snips or a reciprocating saw to trim support trays for shorter tubing runs, be sure to remove any sharp edges prior to installing trays onto the pure flow PEX tubing. Where trays are installed continuously, it may be necessary to use closer hanger spacing to maintain a consistent hanger interval. A maximum of two continuous tray lengths should be used where thermal compensation and or offsets are required, typically every 50 feet. Note, where space is available, it may be easier to install the support trays on the PEX tubing while on the floor, and then install the tubing with trays attached onto the hangers. The support tray should extend beyond the hanger by the length equal to the diameter of the tubing. Note that the space between the supported pecs should never exceed the maximum support spacing listed in the spacing intervals table. Leave at least 2 inches between fitting and support trays. In areas where support trays will overlap, provide at least 4 inches of overlap of the trays with two zip ties, ensuring the zip ties are at least 1 inch from the end of the trays. PEX tubing and or fittings installed between trays, exposed, shall be wrapped with a minimum thickness of 1 half inch E84 rated insulation. Refer to Vega Pure Flow listing on www.qai.org. When installing Vega Pure Flow PEX tubing, leave a small amount of slack between fasteners to account for tubing contraction. Use only plastic or plastic-coated tubing supports. Metal supports are not recommended. They may damage the tubing. Note that Vega PureFlow PEX tubing will expand or contract 1.1 inches per 100 feet for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit of temperature change. In long straight runs, allow adequate clearance for this. See Thermal Expansion Compensation on page 24 of the Commercial Installation Manual. The aluminum layer in Fostapex reduces expansion and contraction so that it expands only 0.16 inches per 100 feet for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit of temperature change. This makes it ideal for locations where expansion must be minimized. Tubing should be allowed freedom to move slightly as it expands. Do not clip it tightly into place or locate it where it will be tightly constrained. Use suspension clips or an approved plastic insulator where tubing passes through studs or joists where abrasion and noise is a concern. 
Vega Pure Flow PEX tubing should be fastened at a maximum interval noted in the following table for horizontal and vertical support. Note, suspension clips are required for metal studs and optional for wood studs. Use nailing plates to protect tubing from nails and screws where it passes through wood studs. Some model codes may reference different support spacing intervals for plastic tubing. Always refer to local code for approved spacing requirements that exceed the ones referenced in this video. In risers or vertical runs, Vega Pure Flow PEX and Fosta PEX tubing should be attached with suspension clips or an approved plastic insulator at each floor or ceiling penetration and every 4 feet in between.